So we have about three minutes before we get started. This is where you check everything and all the phones are off. <laughs> Two minutes before we go live. So I can change my name from Emma Stone. We see people as they come in, or are they only able to uh, come in once it officially opens up? Just once I hit broadcast, you'll start to see the attendees number increase. Gotcha. And uh, with less than a minute out, we can go ahead and broadcast now. Um, I give students a couple of moments to actually join, yep. but I'll, I'll just greet them as they are joining and try and direct them over to the Essentials On Demand training. So I'll go ahead and hit broadcast now. Hello to anyone that is just joining us now. Uh, we've just opened up the gates to today's webinar. We'll give a couple of moments for everybody to get themselves settled in. While you are settling in, I want to direct your attention over to the chat window. I've posted a link which will direct you over to our brand new on-demand for Jock platform. Go ahead and check that out now. I'll post it a couple times so that everybody can see it as they are joining. We're gonna give a couple more moments for everybody to join us here and to get themselves settled in. If you've just joined us now, good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you are connecting from around the world. Uh, we're really excited to have you here today and to talk about Fordrock On Demand. While we get ourselves settled in, I want to point out the chat window where I've posted a link over to the registration page for the Fordrock On Demand platform. Go ahead and take a look at that now. We'll give just one more moment before we get started. So it looks like our attendees numbers are starting to stabilize. So I'm going to go ahead and hit record now, and then we can get started. So hello and welcome everyone to today's webinar titled Fordrock Launches On-Demand Training, Start Learning Fordrock Identity Platform Today. Our speakers today are Kevin Streeter and Victor Torgrimson. Kevin Streeter is a thought leader in IT and cybersecurity skills development and vice president, University at Fordrock, a leading provider of digital identity solutions. With over 20 years of experience in IT learning and development, Kevin is a specialist in IT competency assessment, digital credentialing, and educational technology. 
Victor Torgrimson is the Director of Education Delivery for Exit Certified. He has over 20 years of experience teaching and overseeing delivery of IT education. Exit Certified provides on-demand, live virtual, and classroom training to help Fordrock partners and customers acquire the skills they need to maximize their success with Fordrock. We have an exciting webinar to get to today. And before we get started, I wanna quickly cover the functionalities. So during the session, everyone's microphones will be muted. So if you have any questions, I wanna encourage you to enter them in the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen. We'll have a dedicated question and answer session at the end of the presentation, but don't hesitate to post your questions in that Q&A box whenever they come up. Today's webinar is being recorded and we'll send a copy out to all registrants by the end of the week. Now let's get started. Take it away, Kevin and Victor. Great, thank you very much, Michelle. And uh, great to be with everyone today. Uh, so my name is Kevin Streeter and uh, I'm just gonna introduce the agenda for today. Uh, Victor. Um, so I'm just going to talk uh, to begin with about the recent enhancements to the Ford Rock Identity Platform uh, that we've just launched uh, and then go on and talk about the new Ford Rock Identity Product Essentials Training Library uh, that we're launching today with uh, Exit Certified. Uh, Victor is then going to take us through the platform and what it looks like uh, before I come back and talk to us. Uh, to all of you more about new classes that are coming up in the Ford Rock curriculum. But to start with, uh, let's just give you a quick update as to uh, where Ford Rock is today. Uh, I've been with Ford Rock eight years now. We're, we're nearly a 10-year-old company and uh, digital identity has moved from being something at the periphery of everyone's thoughts to something that's right in the centre of today's world. Uh, who isn't wanting to get online securely in these times at the moment. And Fordrock's taken a very, a very specific view on this, that it's not just about security. Uh, there's a lot more to digital identity than just security. Everything today is connected and we need to have platforms that enable pla uh, software to talk to each other, to integrate everything that we use, whether it's devices, uh, our cars, automobiles, ev everything that we come in touch, contact with. And that should be done in a way that is easy to use. So delightful experiences. But we also want it to be secure. So you know that when you're interacting with an online device that you know it's going to be a se secure transaction. And um, underneath that, we've really got a lot of concerns around data privacy and regulatory compliance. And the Fordrop platform as a whole addresses all of these points. So we're looking for secure, safe, but delightful online experiences, using your identity to access a huge range of services uh, in a, the, the online environment. So if we go to the next slide, the, the way Fordrock sees it now is that we really engage with identity in three completely different fields. Uh, we do uh, a lot with consumer facing organizations. So when you're doing online banking, uh, when you're engaging with insurance companies, media organizations, uh, you want to be secure in your online transaction, but very consumer orientated. You want to be safe and, and secure in your online experiences in the workplace. So we need to focus on the workforce and we want to be secure when we're using things. And our definition of things, this is the, the IOT space, is anything that a human might interact with directly. So rather than just independent device to device, we're very focused on engagement between humans and things. And uh, though those three fields together make up the domain of where Ford Rock is working today. Next slide. So there's Ford Rock Identity Platform. And for people that have been aware of Ford Rock for a long time, there's a, a few things that might look slightly different on this diagram. Um, 
right at the, the centre. Um, everything we do is about identity and access management. We have the directory that uh, has been a core foundation of the Fordrock stack for many years, uh, with access management sitting on top of that. Uh, we have the identity management uh, piece of the stack that uh, provides a workflow and engages with a lot of business applications. And you might notice a new box in the bottom left, identity governance. Uh, we introduced a, a identity governance feature to the platform uh, earlier this year. And that really allows organizations to have a good understanding uh, of where their users are and what they're doing with that, with the, the various systems they're connected to. And we can take in signals from a whole range of devices, contexts, um, applications, and we process those in order to make sure that the transactions are safe, secure, comply uh, with any privacy requirements. And we then provide that information to a whole range of platforms. So it's very much a, an identity processing engine in the center. And this can now be consumed either as a service uh, or you can deploy it anywhere that you'd like to. And I'll talk a little bit more about the as a service offering at the, the end of the webinar. Okay. So the focus of the platform enhancements. So over the last two months, we've been releasing a, a large range of new enhancements to the Ford Rock Identity Platform. They've been focused on four primary areas. The first is allowing organizations to reduce their costs. So integrating systems together easily, instead of having a lot of different siloed uh, platforms, each with their own identity management, allowing organizations to consolidate it and reduce the costs. We've integrated a lot of functionality to allow organizations to just grow their business and get competitive advantage, uh, whilst at the same time in improving a lot of security, uh, bringing a lot more privacy and compliance uh, into the platform, and allowing organizations to just increase their productivity with a good identity platform at the core of everything they do. So on to some of the, the specifics. So um, getting some of the, the technical details of what's behind the platform and uh, you'll find a lot more information about all of these features uh, in the new product essentials uh, library uh, that we're talking about today. Uh, experiences, we've added a lot of functionality about making experiences easier. So things like usernameless login, passwordless login. How do you do things like that securely? Well, you need to have a powerful identity platform to enable you to do that. And that's what you've now got in the Forge Rock Identity Stack. Um, things like web authn, um, touch devices, it, it needs to be part of our everyday business. We need to get away from the world of passwords, which are highly insecure and human dependent to things that are much more trustworthy, like your device ID, your, your fingerprints, your facial recognition, and build that into your everyday transactions. We've made it much easier to enable account creation, um, to have very streamlined access to your, your environments. Um, we've introduced a, a Fordrock SDK so that you can now build your own mobile applications very easily with the Fordrock stack. Um, we've provided new support for uh, support engineers to be able to help users gain access and fix issues quickly. Uh, we've introduced a, a new function with Kerberos so that you can integrate your Windows desktops uh, easily into the Ford Rock Identity Stack um, with the Kerberos node uh, in our tree authentication trees. And, and added a number of new features specifically for stronger authentication um, and uh, a new standards like SIBA, which are specifically built for the, the banking, uh, online banking community. Okay, next slide. And um, security, we've done a, a lot of work on mobile devices. 
the SDKs are available for uh, iOS, uh, for Android and for JavaScript. And we're making use of the features in these platforms. So uh, Apple provide secure enclaves so that you can have safe storage uh, on your devices uh, for secrets. Um, we're making use of that in the full drop SDKs. Um, we're making use of the security features that are available in a lot of mobile platforms and providing these as something that you can use in your identity journeys. Uh, and things like web auth in, um, improving the secrets management and just general improvements in data security. Things that are really important when you're building identity solutions today, we've now incorporated into the product stack. Um, a couple of specifics around uh, Ford Rock Access Management. So in core of the platform, uh, it's uh, been, a, been part of the Ford Rock uh, platform from the beginning. Um, some areas, uh, some newer areas, we've made it much easier to use. So creating authentication journeys. Uh, one area we haven't touched for a very long time is SAML. Um, it's been pretty standard in the platform. Uh, we've made some huge changes to SAML. Uh, you can now configure it with the REST API. Uh, we've got a completely new admin interface for, the SAM, for SAML. Um, and I think you'll find it a, a much better experience all round. And uh, all of this, again, is covered in the new classes that we're launching today. Um, and uh, I'll come on to Identity Gateway in a moment, but we've also added a lot of new features into the Fort Rock Identity Gateway. Next one, Victor. Thank you. Um, for the Identity Gateway, um, the biggest thing that's changed in Fort Rock Identity Gateway is it can now be deployed in as a standalone application. So you can deploy it pretty much anywhere that you'd like to put an Identity Gateway. Um, and it also allows us to encompass microservices so we can now easily integrate microservices into the full drug identity stack uh, through Identity Gateway uh, now that it's available in the standalone mode. So that's something that in the Identity Gateway course we'll cover in a lot more detail. Um, and find directory services. In the full drug directory services, uh, we've updated our directory so it's now fully cloud enabled. Um, it's fully containerized directory. Um, we've made some huge changes in how backup and recovery uh, are performed so that it's much faster, it's much more cloud friendly. Uh, and for the first time we're covering this in a uh, product essentials class. So you can get a, a good feel for how the directory server uh, is now behaving and it's one of the, the issues we've had for a while is just how the directories behaved in um, a containerized environment. And uh, we've addressed that very much with the, the new product releases that we've uh, rolled out the last few months. Uh, so we now come on to uh, the classes. So the Fortrop Product Essentials Library uh, gives you four classes. Uh, Access Management Essentials, Identity Management Essentials, Directory Services Essentials, and Identity Gateway Essentials. Um, up until today, we've only had the first two, AM and IDM. Uh, we're now releasing the full suite, covering the whole of the full drug identity stack. And across those classes, we give you a good in-depth technical introduction to the entire full drug stack. Um, so you get a good understanding of the platform and all of the specific areas that these products uh, address. So next slide. So in the Ford Rock Access Management uh, Essentials class, um, in this class we talk much, uh, very much about the AM Essentials, um, controlling your applications, but for the first time, we're now talking a lot about the um, SDKs, the Software Developer Kits, where you can now start building your own mobile applications very easily with the SDKs uh, and the Product Essentials class will show you 
the basics of how that's functioning and how you can use the mobile SDKs to create really excellent, easy to use, but highly functional applications using the power of the Forge Rock Identity Platform. Uh, we also introduced Zero, uh, Zero Trust. Uh, one of the newer concepts uh, around an identity these days is Zero Trust. And uh, we want to make sure that when, once you've logged in, you, your identity is used effectively across the organization and across all the platforms that you're using. And it's new in the full drop identity platform. And um, we go into some depth in the class about uh, how Zero Trust works with full drop AM. Uh, on to IDM. Uh, the full drop, uh, identity management uh, essentials class very much around the core of identity management with synchronization um, sync and recon services uh, but we've made some very big changes to self-service and how that functions and the user interface for self-service um, it makes it a lot easier to to integrate uh, with many applications and we want to show that and we have a new platform user interface that allows you to make self-service self-registration password reset very much easier to deploy either into an organization or across organizations uh, and we cover that in the identity management class and we also now include full drop identity governance uh, as I said earlier, identity governance is new to Fortrock this year. Uh, it's something that uh, we've integrated into the identity management uh, product, and we cover that in the identity management product essentials class. And finally, uh, we've, we come to directory services. Um, the directory services uh, essentials class is completely new and we're going in that class into depth about the directory how it functions how it supports the full truck identity platform and all of the other components in the platform uh, in particular we're talking about the enhancements for the devops environments because that's that's the newest thing in directory and uh, first taste of that is in the directory services essentials class and i think finally we've got identity gateway um, something that's been around in identity gateway for a while is visual studio it's really been in sort of preview mode until now it's now a core component of uh, ig and we go through identity gateway and the visual studio uh, in some detail uh, so that you can actually see how to build routes using full drop identity gateway uh, very easily. Uh, the other thing I want to highlight in the identity gateway product essentials class is that uh, we now talk about microservices uh, and being able to protect microservices using uh, full drop internet gateway. So that's going to be uh, very much of interest to people that are designing microservices and again this is completely new class uh, that's being released today as part of the library uh, with that i'm going to hand over to victor to talk about the on-demand training platform uh, that we're releasing the content on thank you very much kevin it's a pleasure to speak to all of you today uh, so at Tech Data Exit Certified, we offer Forge Rock training uh, live and uh, virtual and also now on demand. So I want to talk to you a little bit about how you can access these on demand courses and uh, expand your Forge Rock knowledge and skills. Very briefly, a bit more about Exit Certified. Uh, we deliver 9,500 different courses in 54 countries on 45 different technologies for 25 vendors. We've trained over 125,000 students, and we're very proud of our 97% student satisfaction rate. Our instructors have an average of 27 years of experience in IT and 17 years of experience teaching. And as I briefly mentioned there, so with Forge Rock, 
um, in, uh, in, when it becomes safe to do so again, we offer Forge Rock training uh, live in classrooms. We also are delivering it live virtually at any time. And now starting today, we have on demand as well for when that suits your needs best. So what are some of the benefits with on-demand training? Uh, so certainly with live training, you get some of the benefits of interactivity back and forth with an instructor. On-demand gives you that ability to take the training whenever you want, at your own pace, at your own convenience. So with on-demand access, you're gonna get one year of access to the videos. Uh, so Matthias, Forge Rock uh, Master Instructor, is presenting all these materials and you'll have one year of access to watch him do that. You can start, stop, and rewind him as much as you need to to get the benefits that you need. It's all the certified content coming from the experts at Forge Rock. Along the way, if you have questions, you can send in questions and get those questions answered by our team and by instructors. These initial courses that are coming out today that are free do not have hands-on labs, but subsequent courses that are going to be coming out in the following months will also include hands-on labs so that you can practice your skills as well. All of these uh, lessons are fully searchable, and so you can watch these in two different ways. You can watch them from start to finish to get the full suite of information, and you can also use them as a reference library that you can come back to when you need to look into a specific subject at that time. So with that, I'm going to switch over and show you a demonstration of how to uh, register and once you register, how to access it. So again, everything that's coming out today is free. Uh, the link in the chat, uh, which Michelle has been putting in there, you'll see in the chat a link to this page that I'm on right here. And so on this page is where you can go to register for free. You just click enroll now, put in your information, and within a couple of minutes after you register, you're going to receive an email from us with how to access the content. In that email that you receive, it will tell you to go to ondemand.exitcertified.com. It will tell you to come up to click uh, where it's going to say guest when you first come in. You're going to click guest and create your login. Once you've registered and logged in, you will be able to go to course videos and come down and choose for rock. With your registration, this is a bundle of four courses, and so you're actually going to see four courses when you come in. So that one page there, the Product Essentials Library, that includes all four of the courses that Kevin just discussed. And so you're gonna see in there, here's the Access Management Essentials as he discussed it, here's Directory Services, Identity Gateway, and Identity Management. So you can go through each course at your pace and order and convenience. When you go into the courses, you're going to see, first there'll be a brief introduction to the on-demand platform to make sure you see how to get around. You're also going to see a set of videos that will uh, cover how to uh, use the overall Forge Rock product library. These three videos will be the same in all of the courses. And then you're gonna get into the specifics of that particular course. In this case, I clicked on the access management course. So for each of those, you'll see the videos of uh, Matthias, the instructor teaching that. So when I go into one of these videos, I won't actually play the video here, but just to show you what it looks like, you'll come in and you will see Matthias uh, presenting that material. As you go through, you can also click on the icon here to see previews of all the slides that are coming up. So if you wanna jump to a particular part of the video, you can click on a slide and jump to that point where Matthias starts discussing that particular topic. So in this way, you can progress sequentially through the course and watch the material. Alternatively, if you wanna search for a particular topic, at any time you can come up to the search and put in a search term, and it will search all of the videos to tell you all the places where that topic is discussed. So I can see here that OAuth2 is discussed in each of these videos, and I can click show more to see each of the spots within there where specifically that's mentioned. So it, eight seconds in, 15 seconds in, what's being discussed. And I can click on one of those and it will take me to that specific spot in the video to get just what I need at that time. So in that way, you've got a great reference library that you can use as well. 
So I encourage you uh, to, while you're here in the webinar, go ahead, click the link in the chat, uh, come to this play page, click enroll now, and you can jump right in and uh, start taking your training uh, on all of those courses, as Kevin mentioned. And uh, Kevin, with that, I will uh, pass it back over to you. Okay, we can just go back to the slide. <laughs> okay. Um, so just to pick up from there, uh, two weeks ago, uh, Fordrock uh, announced some major enhancements to our Fordrock Identity Cloud solution. So we're now providing Fordrock Identity Platform as a service being run by Fordrock. Uh, we provide this uh, fully integrated. We're managing it around the clock. There's no installation or configuration to do anymore. You can go straight into the platform and start using the power of the Fordrock Identity Platform. And it's been built very much for CISOs, um, developers, anyone who wants to just deploy a proven identity platform into their business and have everything available, ready to go, um, and be able to develop applications uh, immediately to the Fordrock Identity Cloud. So Fordrock Identity Cloud, it's ready to go. It's available today. And uh, if we can go into the next slide, um, it's meant that we've uh, introduced some new courses into the curriculum. Uh, so slightly adjusting the, the curriculum roadmap we've had before. We now have a, a new column here for cloud competence. So it's all the same products. It's still AM, IDM, DS, IG, exactly as uh, we, we've we used before, exactly as we cover in the product uh, essentials classes. Um, everything we cover in the essentials library relates to both the, the on-prem, the DevOps, and the Identity Cloud instances of the, the full drop platform. But we have a new class uh, here for uh, getting started with the full drop Identity Cloud and a new class for the Fordrock SDKs uh, that I talked about earlier in the, the uh, individual classes. Um, so if you go on to the next slide, please, Victor. So these are the two new classes. Um, they are both going to be coming to the uh, Exit Certified On Demand platform uh, in the next uh, couple of months. So the first class that's going to be released is getting started with Fordrock Identity Cloud. And then uh, shortly afterwards, we'll be adding the building applications with the Fordrock SDK. At that point in the Product Essentials Library, you will then have access to everything that Fordrock has available at the moment. Um, you'll be able to get access to information about the identity cloud, uh, and you'll also be able to have the access to uh, the SDK class. So look out for these in the coming months. and. Uh, now that we've started on this journey uh, with the on-demand platform, we are going to be working through a process over the, the next few months of uh, converting all of our content, updating it to include all the latest Fordrock uh, identity platform features and releasing it to the on-demand platform. And uh, that will hopefully become your place to go for all your Fordrock learning. So with that, uh, I'd like to say thank you, and I think we've got some time for uh, some Q&A. Thank you so much, Kevin and Victor. Um, I would just like to extend that invite to post questions in the Q&A. We do have a few queued up already. Uh, this first one will be for Kevin, and uh, it's posted in the chat window. Just to set some context, it has to do uh, when speaking about new Fordrock identity platform features, specifically around experiences. So the question from Parish reads, um, act on users' behalf. So this feature, is this something new in the 7.0? or has this been a feature in the 6.5 revision as well? And they would like to know more about this, especially the implementation piece. Uh, it is something that's new in 7.0. Uh, it's something that's been added to the platform um, specifically to make it easier for support engineers to support 
uh, users with um, questions around their, their identity. Um, I think initially I want to have, have a look at the course and see what we're covering in the course uh, about this feature. Um, but also we have got more information about it in the product documentation. And if that's uh, not enough depth, then uh, please get in contact with Portrait team and uh, go to portrait.com and we'll be able to assist you from there. But uh, there is a lot of information around about this feature uh, that uh, has been released uh, over the last few weeks. So uh, yeah, great to hear that's uh, going to be of use. That's great. Thank you. Um, switching over to the Q&A window, we have a question um, asking when these classes will be based on version 7. So when the, the official transition to version 7. Uh, these classes are all on version 7. So everything that we're releasing in the on-demand platform is version 7 uh, related. So um, everything today, we're, we're migrating uh, obviously across. Uh, versions are becoming less of an important thing in full truck as we move to the identity cloud uh, as being one of our primary delivery platforms. We're just going to be continually rolling out updates and enhanced features uh, to the full drop platform. But uh, if you're still in the world of specific version numbers, then uh, yeah, this is all based on SAP. Um, we have a anonymous question um, asking if SailPoint is a competitor of Fordrock. <laughs> um, interesting question. Uh, they're they're a, a part, both a partner and a competitor. Um, we do one type of governance. If that's right for your organization, then great. Uh, hopefully the Fordrock Identity Governance solution will be right for you. Uh, but we equally, we integrate very well with SailPoint. So, uh, uh, we've got a number of integrations and deployments going on with both Fordrock and SailPoint together. So uh, friend, friend and competitor, uh, as it often is in the technology world. That's great. Um, Victor, I think this question can be directed to you. Um, so it, the question is, uh, I believe on-demand training is the same as self-paced training, but focuses on the client where self-paced is focused on the partners. Um, is this true? Can you elaborate a little bit on the differences? Kevin, feel free to jump in if you want to add anything. I can speak to my side or if you want to say yep. anything. Uh, I'll start off the, actually, the, what we're releasing now is on demand for all audiences. So it's for our customers, our partners, uh, our staff, uh, everyone that's working with Full Drop Identity Platform. We have previously had some content just for our partner community. That is going to be slowly transitioning across to the on-demand platform so that everybody can have access to it. Um, so yeah, that previous versions are moving across and all new content uh, is coming out on the on-demand platform uh, with Exit Certified. And what I would add in addition to that is that uh, with the new offerings that will be coming out in the next few months of additional courses, what you're going to start seeing is that all the courses that are currently available uh, live, whether it be in a classroom when that's appropriate or virtual, are now also available, will start becoming available on this on-demand platform. So you get the same lab environment, the same course kits, the same instructors uh, with this nice platform that is uh, fully searchable. Uh, so it's a little bit different platform for it. Ultimately, on-demand and self-paced are two different ways that people refer to uh, the same type of training method. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would say the, probably the biggest difference is, uh, as Victor's demonstrated, you've now got searchability, you can now have got keyword tagging. Uh, these are all things that uh, are, are new in the on-demand platform and really powerful features. And the other thing is the, the video size. Uh, all of the, the individual video elements are 10 to 14 minutes long. Um, they're easy to digest. And uh, whereas in some of the work, things we've done in the past have been recording at quite long sessions, it's quite hard to, to digest that in one go. Uh, the on-demand format works really well uh, for being able to learn something quickly and find the right piece of content you need at that particular time. Thank you. 
Lisa asks if there will still be classes based on versions previous to seven, um, if they'll still be available on Backstage. Uh, yes, it's the answer to that. Um, so everything going forward to seven, version seven onwards is on demand, but uh, yeah, some of the historical content uh, will still be available on Backstage. Rebecca asks, with these only being released in the US at the moment, is there any scope to bring it to the UK? <laughs> um, these are global, this is global content. Mm -hmm. um, so it's accessible from everywhere. Um, as you can probably tell, uh, I'm based in the UK, um, but yeah, th this is global content. So uh, it's accessible everywhere. And if you want to add to that, Victor. Yeah, I would say the same that uh, indeed, uh, so registration doesn't matter where in the world, uh, you're able to take this part of the beauty of on-demand training. Uh, we have an anonymous question. Um, if I haven't coded in over 15 years, how easy would it be for someone like me to learn to code and customize and implement Fordrock at customers' sites? Um, relatively easily with the, the SDKs particularly, um, we've tried to simplify being able to build really powerful identity solutions with a minimal amount of code. Um, so the way that we've approached it is we're, we're using, uh, Android Studio. So if you can write, um, Java code for Android, um, if you can write uh, Swift code for, for iOS or JavaScript, then you can build end user applications, you can build identity solutions uh, with the Fordrock SDKs. So we're trying to make it as easy as possible. We're also trying to make it as approachable for people with uh, rather than extensive developer skills, somebody who just wants to incorporate identity into something that they're working on. We're trying to make that really easy to do now. So I'd say have a look at the, the particularly the access management uh, product overview, uh, product essentials class, where we talk more about the SDKs and, and how easy we're trying to make this for people to integrate. I think this is a great question. Are the on-demand courses a good starting point before taking the usual Fordrock training or is there a better or different route you would suggest? Uh, absolutely. This is the ideal starting point for anyone coming into the Fordrock environment. Uh, these are the foundation for everything that comes after. So if you just want to get an understanding of what does the Fordrock stack do, uh, what are the individual products within that? What's, what do these functions actually do for you? What's the basis of how they work before you get deeply into configuration um, of something like access management? Then yes, these are a great place to start and uh, definitely recommend that for everyone. Mohammed asks, uh, what is the advanced course on IDM? Um, referring back to, yeah, exactly to the- yep mapping page. Uh, can you speak on the advanced IDM course? Yep. Yeah. So the advanced IDM course is the identity gate uh, governance uh, product that I talked about a couple of times. Um, identity governance is new to the Fordrock stack. Um, it's built on top of uh, Fordrock identity management. So it uses the IDM uh, engine underneath it and we've layered identity governance on top of that. So it uses a lot of functionality of, of IDM. So if you want to add identity governance to your solution, then that's where the IDM, IDM advanced class comes in. So uh, IDM uh, 520 is the class and uh, you'll find that on the exit certified schedule. We have another question. Um, after completing the on-demand courses, is there any kind of certification do these prepare you for some Fordrock certification exams? Um, and are these on-demand courses enough to pass said exams? And these are the, so the on-demand classes that we're releasing today are the product essentials. So by themselves, they're not enough to take the exams. Um, 
you will need to go forward to the uh, AM400, IDM400 classes to cover all of the, the knowledge that you need for the exam. Uh, the exams themselves are built on the need to have both knowledge and experience. So you need to have some experience of actually trying to deploy either full drug access management or identity management into the real world before you're going to be ready for the exam. So the exams do assume you, you've studied the class, you've done the product, product essentials, so you've done the AM essentials, you've then gone on to say uh, the AM uh, core concepts, the AM 400 class. You've done maybe a little bit of work with the API, with the REST API, and then you'll be ready for the exam when you've got a bit of experience putting those into practice. So it's a great starting point, but it's not, it, it starts you on the journey, it doesn't finish the journey for you. I would uh, add to that, that after, the, after you complete an essentials uh, course, you will get a digital certificate of completion. So it's not a certification, but you'll get a digital certificate of completion saying that you have completed the course and you can share that on places such as LinkedIn. Um, and also, yeah, you get your uh, digital badge from us as well at the end of the class. Matthew asks, uh, or rather mentions, that there was no mention of the DevOps class on that matrix. And he wants to know, where does that fit in with regards to the matrix and the 400 level classes? Uh, I think if you could go back to that, Victor, I think um, it's under the expert column, the FR523, configuring for truck identity platform in a DevOps environment. Um, it really comes after the uh, AM and IDM classes because you need to know about uh, AM, IDM, DS before you can go into a DevOps environment. Um, so in the, the FR523 class, the DevOps class, we assume you already know enough about the core products and now we're going to take you into the Docker and Kubernetes world and show you how to deploy that and get the stack running uh, for yourself in in containerized environment. So uh, it is on the diagram, but it's moved slightly from where it has been previously because we, we've now introduced cloud uh, as its own specific column. Okay. I want to share the link over to the on-demand registration page one more time. Uh, you'll find it in the chat window. Um, and uh, actually, it looks like we have one, a couple more questions. Um, so will there be a self-paced version of the identity governance course anytime soon? Uh, at some point, um, not yet. Uh, we're working through updating the whole curriculum at the moment. So uh, after the cloud and the SDK class, we're doing AM and IDM. Uh, we will get to governance after that. So it, it's on the roadmap. Um, I'm not going to give a date at this point, but early next year uh, at the latest for that. And I'll add to that, that uh, if you do want to take the identity governance class in the meantime, um, if you are looking for classes on North American hours, you can go to the second link on the slide here at exitcertified.com for when the live virtual classes are being offered. Um, or if you're looking for a class somewhere in another region of the world, if you go to Forge Rock University website, you can go there to sign up for a live virtual class of it. Yeah. Uh, we have another question. Um, how good are the opportunities for a cloud architect? <laughs> good. Um, Victor, do you want anything to that? I think you're, you're covering a lot of classes on cloud architecture at the moment. <laughs> we, uh, we do for, uh, we teach a, a very large number of classes on it. Uh, you know, I think uh, certainly it's a huge growth area uh, and perhaps even more so in the current COVID environment of everybody looking at how to take next steps with the cloud. Um, so I think there's tremendous opportunity there. We have another question that asks, how much do other courses cost aside from the free offering? Um, I've directed them over to the Exit Certified for Drop training page, but if we want to speak a little bit more on that question. Um, 
Victor, do you want to say anything? Yeah. Basically, if you go to the Exit Certified page, that really, that's the place to go. And also, uh, if you're somewhere else in the, the world outside of North America, then uh, there's also links in the on-demand classes that will take you back to the Ford Rock, uh, Ford Rock University page that will direct you off to uh, training providers around the world. And, uh, Thank you so much. Uh, that looks to bring us to the end of our questions. Um, but if you didn't get to ask your question today or if something comes to mind later, um, I want to post the or Forward Rocks contact information in the chat window for everyone. So you can email training at forgerock.com for any Forward Rock specific questions. Um, I will also post Exit Certified's Fordrox schedule page in the chat window as well. Thank you all so much for your time. Um, as mentioned, this session was recorded and we'll email out a copy to everyone shortly. Um, thank you again so much for taking some time to learn a little bit more about our exciting news of Ford Rock On Demand.